Hello, and welcome to the Million Dollar Message. This is your fearless Friday message with Callie DeBlander Brigham calling from beautiful Pensacola Beach, Florida. So crazy to think that one week ago I was still in Hawaii, um, in Kona, on the big island, enjoying um, all of my top director girlfriends and their guests on the trip and our corporate staff and um, just really taking time to soak in all of the beauty and the peace and the fun um, of this, these top sales director trips. This is my 15th trip. How crazy is that? Is that? Of course, two of the years were COVID and we weren't able to go, so 13 actual trips and um, each one so very special and it's rarely the place that we go. Again, although Hawaii is magnificent, it is the people that are there and I would definitely say set your sights, get to work. You know, one of the things we did one night um, just for fun was we were all sharing some of the craziest things that happened at our parties or in our business along those lines. And let me tell you, if you've had some crazy things happen, that is a good sign. <laughs> and that means you are on the right track. So really magnificent and, and special and wonderful, wonderful experience. Well, I am here today back in the office, back at work, and ready to go because one of my consultants shared with me a couple days ago, and I wasn't even paying attention, that Monday marks 100 days to the end of 2024. What? 100 days to the end of 2024. So that got me thinking, what could we do in 100 days? Individually, collectively, what could happen in 100 days? What could mean that you are 100 times closer to a goal, a dream, a habit, a routine, a way of thinking? So I want you to start to think right now. If you're listening on Friday or Saturday or Sunday before the message changes, you have time. What is your 100-day game plan? Now, I will tell you one of mine that I'm going to be doing and actually doing with my unit, and that is going back through the journal, the devotional journal called 100 Days of Believing Bigger. The author's name is Marshawn, M-A-R-S-H-A-W-N, Evans Daniels. But you can just type in, in Amazon search, 100 Days of Believing Bigger. I'm actually going to read a few of Marshawn's words in a few minutes, but I was thinking, wow, 100 days of devotionals, reminding myself, posturing myself in the right manner, in the right place, in the right priorities, imagine what that will do, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and then that, of course, leads to our actions, so physically, right? maybe financially, relationally, so many other areas that it's going to spill over in. Maybe it is 100 days in a row of a certain habit, even if it's making your bed (laughs) or flossing your teeth or drinking a certain amount of water or moving your body. Maybe it is 100 days in a row that have to do with your business. I was talking to a, um, a consultant, a director yesterday, and she was saying, that she is working on doing one bubble sheet a day. Could you imagine? Let's see, what is that, 5,600 reach outs? Because I think there's 56 bubbles on a bubble sheet. 56 times 100, 5,600 reach outs. Maybe it is getting a new name every day. Maybe it is sharing the opportunity every day. Maybe it is seeing a face, 100 faces. Maybe it is 100 new customers, 100 women doing the skin analyzer app. One, I mean, you get the idea, 100 notes that you write out. I want you to picture and decide and then get to work on 100. Maybe you need a poster. Maybe you need a Google form. Maybe you need or Google, Google Sheets. Maybe you need um, a notebook that you're going to journal this. Maybe you're going to use social media. Maybe social media is going to be your accountability partner. Remember, we don't create content. We just document it. So every day for 100 days, what if you were to 
go live, make a reel, do a post. Maybe it's 100 days of reach outs in your Facebook community for your clients. Maybe it is 100 customer calls, right? So I think everybody's on board with me now. I want you to think about what is your 100. And then I want you to share it. Share it with somebody, share it on social, and you are going to get started on Monday. And maybe you need a power partner to do it too. But at the end of the day, imagine waking up on January 1st knowing that you did 100 days of something. Okay, this is what Marshawn says at the beginning of 100 Days of Believing Bigger. She says, this I know for sure. Every woman longs to be seen, selected, and significant. Isn't it interesting that we long for what we already are? In the eyes of God, we're already everything, haven't ever wanted, and more. But as women, we just don't often feel that way. We wrestle with self-doubt, worry, perfectionism, toxic thinking, and surrender. And that's just this morning. Navigating the twists and turns of a faith adventure with God isn't always the picturesque garden stroll depicted. I used to feel a deep disconnect with how the we beautify the gospel. It creates an impossible standard, leading us to feel as if we have to look and talk the part. If we don't, we feel flawed, broken, and in need of so much work that we couldn't possibly be ready for God to use us right now. If you've ever felt that way, you're not alone. It is my hope that during our sacred time together, you'll embrace the courage it takes to believe bigger about who you are, why you matter, and what you're here to do right now for such a time as this. And then she says at the end of this is the preface, my hope is that you'll discover how incredible you really are. There is a warrior on the inside of you, a woman with a big mission and a supernatural message. It's time to step into your next season with focus and faith. It's time to believe bigger. Let's do this. And I thought, you know what? Why don't I read just a little bit of the very first day of devotionals? And as this is says, um, the title is Trust Made Simple. God is more concerned with our trust than our talent, more committed to our character than our career, and more interested in obedience than sacrifice. Because of our desire to get what we want when we want it, eeks, so we naturally tend to rush the process and, attend, and attempt to put God on our timeline. We set high expectations, we create our own schedule, and start racing towards that finish line. Then when our expectations aren't met, we feel frustrated because we haven't met our goals. But there is something God wants more than your speed, hard work, or mighty efforts. God wants your trust. Total reliance upon spiritual timing. Not easy, right? Instead, we want to orchestrate. We want to direct. We want to control. And we want answers. However, the truth is that we simply don't want what, know what's best for us. We certainly don't have the hell, heaven's elevated view. And if we're acting in haste, we can get in the way of God's intended blessings for us. Trusting God is trusting his timing and believing that you can rely upon him in both the wait and the pursuit. God is never late. He is always on time. So, okay, that would be starting 100 days of believing bigger. I bet if you Amazoned it today, it'll be here by Monday. And maybe you have some girlfriends, or maybe with your team, or maybe with your unit or your national area. And let's see what 100 days can do for you. Make it a great weekend. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye.